In this episode, the best year ever workshop, huge success, and what motivation means to you. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Test, test, test. Test, 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 ickles, test, ickles, huh? Test, ickles? Everyone like test, ah, all right. Welcome, everyone, to episode 606 of The Daily Mother a Swole, the most muscular swole cast, beard cast, gain cast, man cast, New Year's cast, coffee cast, uh, nipple cast, hairy chest cast, long hair cast, aviator cast, and... I don't know, life cast in the realm because when I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps. What up, bitches and snitches? We are live and we're live all over the fucking world. So welcome everyone to episode 606. It's Papa Swolio. Papa Swolio is getting, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. So if you wonder, like, I wonder what Papa Swolio is doing today. I wonder what Papa Swolio is doing today. Oh, uh. and I got this black dick like hanging over my head. So don't, don't, if you're watching, don't worry. It's just a microphone. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That'll make for a good meme. Welcome, everyone, to episode 606 of The Daily Sleaze. Got some big stuff going on, always. What's going on, fam? How's your new year going? How's your new year? So I'm going to get in to some nitty gritty, some ish. Um, I'm going to talk about the bee's knees a little bit. And then if you got some questions, I'll take some questions getting into uh, the episode a little bit. First off, I need some coffee. What's going on, Daniel, on Facebook? So I got both of you. I got Instagram and Facebook going uh, live right now. So if you have any questions, drop them down, and I will reference who's watching where, because that's how Papa Swolio rolls. (laughs) What's going on, fam? All right, so today is the second day, the second day of the new year. So now you're hungover, or you were hungover. Maybe you're like double hungover. But now we got like the... Now we got like the, the holiday hangover, right? You have like, I got to pour some coffee. Hold on. Let me get that audio on the podcast. Huh? Oh God, that feels so good. Oh yeah. All right. So now we got the new year is underway and the holidays are gone. So you got those holiday hangovers are shaking off. Your bank accounts are quivering and you're looking down at your stomach and you're like, why the fuck did I eat those things? Why did I eat all those strumpets? And it's time to clean shit up. It's climb, It's time to clean shit up. Now, those of you, aka Papa Swolio, and some of you, some of you dedicated personnel out there, didn't suck the proverbial holiday dick. You actually stayed on track. So kudos. I'll give you a little golf clap, but no one cares. No one cares about you. You have to care about yourself. So that's what's been like the theme of all the episodes coming into today that you have to care about yourself. No one's going to care as much about you as you should. So what are you going to do about it? Now that you care, what are you going to do about it? The, how do I say, the excitement and the, the glitz and the glamour of New Year is going to be gone real soon, fam. Real soon. Right now, it's Happy New Year. Everyone you fucking see is going to be Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. In about a week or so, everyone's going to be like, Happy New Year. What the fuck? It happened like a week ago. No one's going to care. People are going to get pissed off when when you start mentioning Happy New Year. So how are you going to adjust? It's a quick switch. All of a sudden, no one's going to say Happy New Year, and it's going to be gone. That's why you don't want to set your goals based on a new year. But doesn't mean you can't use the new year to your advantage, right? Doesn't mean you can't use the concept of a new year to your advantage. Doesn't mean you can't use it. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it. I think it's an excuse. I think it's set on a faulty foundation. But yesterday's workshop was a huge success. Everyone who here was, uh, who here checked out the best year ever workshop last night? Who was there when it ran live? Anyone, drop some comments below on, on Instagram and Facebook if you watched the uh, if, if you caught the Best Year Ever workshop live. So that workshop was a, I got amazing feedback on it. And it, it was the best year ever, but it wasn't a New Year's resolution workshop. It wasn't, that's not what the goal was. The goal was to make sure you have the tools to fucking destroy 2018. Oh, Alexandra, you saw it? Drop in the comments. Let me know how you, let, let me know what you thought about it. And a lot of you were emailing me, letting me know, you know, what your, what your takeaway was, what you got from the, what you got from the workshop. And it was really interesting. 
And a lot of you really resonated with the mental approach, right? With where, like where the head game and shifting your mindset and how to shift your mindset goals and visions and so forth. So first off, if you haven't watched it yet, let's say you registered and you missed it, you can still go access it. So I put the link in, the link is still in my Instagram profile. It's in the description of this post. And if you missed it, I set it up so now you can watch it on demand. So if you want to watch it again, or you want to refer someone else to it, you could refer them to register and you can watch it on demand. So at your convenience. So now you can access it when you want. So if you were upset because you missed it or if you're in a different time zone, still click the link and register and you can watch it within a few minutes. Okay. So check that out. Um, highly recommend. And it was, a, it was a big success and I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I was really hoping it would be because I felt the information was solid. So how do you, right? How do you have the best year ever? You know, what does that mean? If I'm sending you over there, you're like, well, what am I going to get from the workshop? What am I going to get from watching that? Because it is time. You know, I, I know you're busy and I know you have a lot of things going on. You have family, you have work, you have obligations. So I know it's time out of your day. But the best thing about it is that it helps shift how you organize your day, how you organize your thoughts. Once you start getting in the mind game and you start tweaking things from where everything starts, you start, start tweaking things at the source, you really start fundamentally making those changes. You start fundamentally breathing, walking, living those adjustments. That's the key. The key is upstairs. I have a lot of you start with fitness. Like, don't worry about that. Just focus on exercise and getting to the gym. But all the time, even if you start with your fitness before nutrition, you are laying the framework. You're always laying the mental game. You're always creating those good habits. And everything is a habit. And one of the biggest things that you can get from this workshop is that everything is practice. And we put too much pressure on ourselves to know everything right away. We put too much pressure on ourselves to have the answer. We put too much pressure on other people uh, to give us the answer when we you know, purchase something or we look for information. Oh, that's the answer? Cool, I'll do that. No one knows all the answers. Even your doctor, when you go and you're like, hey, what's this rash on my arm? They go and they look it up. They have to go and check and make sure or they go reference it. If they're not sure, they'll tell you that and they refer you to a specialist. People don't know everything. I don't know everything. No one knows everything. So it's important to understand what your personal role is in your life change. It's important to understand what your personal role is in your fitness change. And really, that just comes down to taking responsibility for your own fitness, taking responsibility for your own actions. That is the key. That's the difference. When you take responsibility for what you do, there's no one to blame. There's no one to blame. It's not Jane's fault. It's not my fault. It's no one's fault. It's yours. So there's a lot of information out. There's also a lot of good information. There's also a lot of bad information. There's a lot of shit out there. There's a lot of fucking shit out there. But some of it is good. Are you going to be able to determine what's good or bad? Are you going to be able to isolate what's best for you? Are you going to apply that? Because this is episode 606. This is episode 606. That means there's 605 other episodes of The Daily Swole here on Facebook and on YouTube that you can reference with shitloads, like loads of shit, shitloads of information, like endless amounts of information on program design, on psychology, on nutrition, just endless amounts of information. But are you going to do any of it? Like, it doesn't matter what I tell you. It really doesn't matter what I tell you. It doesn't matter what I talk about here. It doesn't matter if I have a workshop. It doesn't matter if I have a program. It doesn't matter if I have Solnormous X. It doesn't matter what I have. Or are you going to do something about it? So it comes down to action no matter what. Whatever you want to do, nothing is going to happen if you don't take action. We wait for too many things. You can't order action on Amazon. You can't order weight loss on Amazon. You can't order motivation on fucking Amazon. You can't ask Alexa for motivation. You can't. She just turned on. Alexa, order me motivation. Let's see what she says. Did you want me to find motivation? Yes. Hold on. The top search result for motivation is the motivation manifesto. It's thirteen dollars and one cent total, including tax. I'm sure it is. Would you like to buy it? No, I would not. I also found hack your motivation. Hack your mo Alexa, turn off. Fucking psycho. 
you can't order motivation. Or you can for $13.95, apparently, okay? Someone just got a free advertisement. So you can't. It, it, it's free. Motivation is free. And how do you get motivation? Just join my workshop. For only $13.95, you can get your best year ever workshop right now, right now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you have, to, you have to find, look, you have to find the seed, right? You have to plant the seed for your motivation, and my point, and what I talked about in the, in the workshop, if you were there, you need to, f- you can create your own motivation. And so many of you are messaging me all the time, Papa Swolio, how do I get motivated? How do you stay motivated? Because I'm here every day. And I know for a lot of you, I mean, float some thumbs if the daily swole is a motivation for you. Because, not just because of what I talk about, but is it a motivating factor for you because it's every day? Are you motivated by the daily swole because it's every day without fail? Because every fucking day, you have an episode. <clears throat> whether I'm sick, whether I'm hacking up phlegm, which I am, I am hocking up, losing your voice, like, no matter what, I'm here. <laughs> so the reason why the Daily Swole is daily is on principle itself, not only is it great information, in my opinion, and a lot of yours, but it's consistent. So your consistency is independent of your emotion. So once you separate motivation from emotion, Then you get to the core. Then what is motivation, right? What do you associate? Drop in the comments right now. What do you associate motivation with? Let's do this. How do you define motivation? This is a great episode. And drop some questions too. I'll take a couple questions at the end of the show. How do you define motivation? What is motivation for you? Yeah, drop some comments. And what is your motivation? That's my question of the day. What, how do you define motivation? And what I really feel is that the issue or core issue is that the association of motivation with emotion. And that's the fault because emotions go up and down. So then your motivation goes up and down. And it's just, it's not, it's not proper. It's not the right way to approach it. Because if you don't feel like going to the gym, well, welcome to the fucking club. I don't feel like going to the gym today. I don't feel that great. And it's pouring rain outside and it's chilly, but I'm going to go has nothing to do with feeling like going, I'm gonna go because it's time to get it done. That's not motivation, that's discipline, that's consistency. My motivation is looking in the mirror every day, sure. Motivation is hard work. Mike, it keeps me on track, it's like checking in, helps me, oh, that was about the daily swole, cool. So I I really, I know the comments are still coming in, but I want you to clear motivation from your emotional, from that emotional hold. Mental toughness, that's good, I like it. It is, not something to be trifled with. But motivation doesn't come for itself. The problem is looking for motivation, is looking for motivation in itself. You're looking in the wrong place. It's like looking, here's the thing, it's like going to your car and looking for the keys because it's a car, the keys should be in there. No, the keys might be in your fucking house. So the car is useless without the keys. That's what motivation is. Motivation is the car. Motivation is the car. It's useless without the keys. And the key is what I break down in the best year ever workshop. So this, this isn't a cliffhanger. I'm just not, I don't have time to go into the whole thing. That's why I did a workshop on it so I could go into more depth. So if you haven't checked out the workshop, the best year ever workshop, Instagram, click the link in my profile. And on Facebook, you can click the link in the post description. You can register and watch it on demand. Motivation is not what you're looking for. Motivation is not what you're looking for. You are not going to find motivation by looking for motivation. And that's where most people go off the rails. You look for motivation by, you know, you you try to get motivation by looking for it. Eh, That's the trick. If you don't look for motivation and you do these other things, then motivation will generate. So I implore you not to look for motivation this year. Go check out the workshop if you haven't. We'll continue this conversation tomorrow. Uh, let's take a couple of questions right now. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's take a couple of comments too. Um, Amada Bugaj or DC5 underscore Antoine on Instagram. The days you don't feel like going are usually the days you need it most, at least in my case. <coughs> not only that, Antoine, the days that you don't feel like going, for me, the days I don't feel like going are sometimes my best workouts. So that, that's a big thing for me. Hey, what's up, Nick? Defensive firearms instructor, shout out. Pew, pew. Ah, oh, 
Fingerprints went through. Yeah. Motivation involves the biological, emotional. Okay. Motivation is me getting my workout in like after I go to sleep. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. My motivation, not what your motivation is, but how you, well, how you define motivation. What's a few food lift to help hit my lats? Help. What's a few food lift to help hit my lats? Uh, that's a misspelling for sure. I'm not sure. A couple exercises, a good lift, a good lift to help hit your lats, wide pull downs, wide pull ups, and also straight arm pull downs with the cable. Those are good ones. Let's do a couple. Invest in your health, getting gains. Let's answer a couple more questions. So drop some questions. Ba, ba, ba. Let's see. Uh, Daniel Blay, Blay on Facebook. I have a question regarding supplements out of BCAAs, protein powder, and creatine. Which ones do you think are worth the money and which are a waste of? Um, I don't think any of them are a waste. I don't talk, I, I, I poo poo supplements for the most part. I don't think necessarily they're a waste. The quality from supplement to supplement is going to differ greatly because it's not regulated well. How your body will actually use it and the effectiveness of its use is questionable. I don't care how many studies they do or they say because they did a study. A study is a very controlled situation with very high quality ingredients, usually with specific people under specific, you know, testing conditions. So what you're doing, like how much is it going to help you? Is it worth it? That's a, that's a whole other question. So I don't take any protein powder. I don't buy BCAAs separately. You know, sometimes I'll get some creatine if I take a pre-workout or something like that. Creatine is very highly uh, researched. <coughs> so creatine is generally a good supplement. It's also found in meat. But um, not everyone responds to creatine the same way. I think a lot of people find, oh, they take BCAAs because they feel like it does X, Y, and Z. I think it's more mental, honestly, because BCAAs you get from food. So you can take them. If you feel a benefit from them and you're okay taking some of the chemicals or try to get a raw supplement, if you're okay taking it and you want to spend the money on it, I just feel like most people don't have their nutrition or their fitness on lock to even warrant taking a supplement. I think it's a, generally it's a waste of money for most people, for most people. If you're a professional athlete and you're like incremental differences and maybe something can give you a boost, then maybe. But those people are very in tune with their bodies and, um, you know, and that's a whole different thing. Is it true cardio makes you fat? No. Cardio doesn't make you fat. Cardio boosts your <coughs> cortisol, <coughs> which can retain weight. Everything boosts cortisol. Cortisol releases sugar. <coughs> Fuck. Cortisol releases um, glucose from the muscle and from the liver. So when you're lifting weights, your body releases cortisol. When you're tired, cortisol levels go up. So cardio exercise just releases cortisol because it releases blood, sugar into the bloodstream. So uh, whoever told you that or the way that's worded is no. Cardio doesn't make you fat. Being fat makes you fat. Uh, let's do another question. Anything on Instagram? Instagram is always a little bit delayed with the comments. Uh, <clears throat> okay, Investor Health. We did that one already. Cool. All right, fam. Good comments on emotions. So if you haven't yet dropped your comments, I want to know. The question of the day, Papa Soil's question to you. Of course, I'm going to get fucking sore throat. Fuck! <coughs> Son of a bitch. I don't cough like this until I do the Daily Swole. <clears throat> so uh, what is your definition? How do you define motivation? That's the question of the day. How do you define motivation? Drop down in the comments. And remember, if you have not yet signed up for the Best Year Ever workshop, still available on demand don't wait because it's not going to be available for long. It's a limited run because it's not going to be the new year forever. So make sure you jump on it right now. Best year ever workshop. The link is in my Instagram profile and also in the post description. I hope to see you there. Love it. People have loved it. And I think you will too. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for episode 606 of The Daily. Mother swole, the most muscular swole cast in the realm because when I flex, you flex. We all flex our biceps. And stay tuned. Make sure you turn post notifications on on Instagram and on Facebook so you get notified when I post videos and when I go live. You can catch The Daily Swole on Facebook, on YouTube, and also the podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. Peace, my geese. Deuce, my goose. Papa Swolio, out. <laughs>